Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect, hook up, and record your PlayStation 4 using the Elgato Game Capture HD. Let's get started. Alright, so to kick things off, let's go through what you're going to need. First off, obviously you're going to need the Elgato Game Capture HD. If you don't have one, there's a link in the description down below with reviews as well as pricing so you can check it out and pick it up for yourself. Now inside the box, the parts you're going to need is the actual Game Capture HD right here. You're going to need the provided HDMI cables as well as the provided USB cable right here. Secondly, you're going to need your PlayStation 4, you're going to need the power cable that's connected as well as a second HDMI cable. And finally, you're going to need a computer, either a Mac or a PC, and a monitor or your television. All right, so now let's get started with the installation. So we're gonna focus on this HDMI in section first. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in our HDMI cable to that, and we'll plug the other end to the HDMI slot on the PlayStation 4. So it should look like this, HDMI in on the Elgato, into the HDMI out port on the PlayStation 4. Now we'll go ahead and turn the Elgato around and we have our HDMI out port and our USB port. So what we're gonna do is plug in the HDMI cable that came with our PlayStation 4 into our TV and we're gonna plug the other end in to the Elgato. Now lastly, we're gonna plug in our USB cable to the back of the Elgato Game Capture HD and the other end to your computer or PC. The next thing you want to do is turn on your PlayStation 4 and go into the settings section here and you want to make sure that you're updated to the latest software or at least updated to version 1.70 because that's when the update where it allowed us to do this was brought out. You can see here I'm at 1.75 so you can check that right here. If you are updated, great, you can move forward. If not, you want to go ahead and update. Next, again from this same section here, you want to go to where it says enable HDCP and we want to disable that because that's what's stopping us from being able to record with the Elgato Game Capture HD. So basically it says all applications in use will be closed and we'll go ahead and say yes. And we're pretty much done with the PlayStation side of this. Now we can move to the computer. So next, what we're gonna do is open up the Game Capture HD software. This comes with the Elgato, so if you don't have it, you wanna go ahead and get it. And basically, automatically, it went to this page here and allowed us to actually see what's on the PlayStation. So if I control it with my control up top, you'll see that it changes up on screen. It's a little bit laggy on screen, but when you do your recordings, everything is fine. The lag is gone and uh, it's everything looks good as it does on the screen where you're playing. So as I showed you in other videos, you can go through all the different things here. You can edit clips, you can record down here. You can find those videos. I'll link you in the description uh, to the playlist of those videos and uh, you can get a little bit more information on how to use this actual software here, but that's how you connect it up and it works really good. No issues as far as I've been using it. Everything works perfectly and this is how it should have been when it was first released. So hopefully guys, this helps you. If it does, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribing for more videos like this one. Also share it with your friends. It'll help them as well and uh, save you the time of explaining it to them. Anyway guys, thanks for watching again. I'll see you in the next video.